Hi, and welcome back to Surviving Mars. Well, we are getting dust storms. The polar ice clap was nuked, not by us. We have a water shortage, a dust storm, <laughs> but our planet is habitable. I'm trying to resolve the water. I'm hoping we can do so by these two additional wells here. The problem's going to be finding more water. Maybe the nuking of the ice caps once everything calms down might actually do something about it. That dome, that dome, and that dome are without life support due to the water shortage. And we have a leak here. Why are the drones not responding? No metal. Now let's get a truck to get some metal over there. This is going to be a problem. A big problem. Let's see if we can get that pipe. If I stop messing around with the keys, get that pipe fixed. So should be over here. Ah. ah, I thought he was. Right, he can do it. Um, get him over to... Where's the nearest one? There. get him to put his lot of metal there. Actually, no, you want to deposit metals there. Maybe I could do get him to deposit all. So where did that truck go that I put over here to get metal? Hmm. Just seems to have disappeared. Maybe it changed its mind. <laughs> I think we can hurry time because whatever's going to happen is happening and we've got absolutely no control over it. Okay, we've got one day to a, one hour left. Okay, we've got a leak. Where is it? Down. Okay, water shut down. All right, the drones are fixing that. We've got another leak here. She's covered. The nearest drone bay. The nearest drone bay is there. We need a resource depot. Get it up and running. I seem to have missed that somehow. Put it there. Oh, it's there. That's why. We need that. And we need metal over here pronto. Let's find. Where are they? He's there. Go and get metal. Is it? Here we go. Load. 
just in case I think it's probably wise to get more metal there and uh, what's he got okay okay the storm's over let's open the dome um, All the domes are now open. We need some more shuttles here. Let's max out the shuttles on this one. We have power back on. What leaks have we got? Gonna have to get these sleeps. A colonist up. has died. Right, he's going there. He's offloading there. Right, those can go. Let's get him working on this area here. Let's get that all the way back up here um, to here we go there let's get that moving what's he got he's got metal let's get him down to where we've got a leak we've got one down without any life support which would suggest it's lacking water we don't need to be making oxygen quite as much as we were, so I think we're going to take out, turn, well, turn off some of these oxygen producers. The moxies. Shut it down. Oh, that's plenty. Is that what I want? Yeah, that's what I want. That one. Turn that off. Reduce the number of farms that are inside the domes will also alleviate some of the strain on the water without actually affecting. Turn that one off. Turn that fuel production off there, there. We have another one there, turn that off, we don't need it. How's the water now? At least we're getting it now under control. But we still could do with more coming in. we've made the move by removing the domes so really there's no going back I suppose let's take that out one See we've got going on down here. If we've got anything we can get rid of. It's going to be a long trip looking for these things. Once we get them sorted out, of course, we'll probably be able to afford to divert water back to the lakes. At least I hope so. Get 
get back there. I told you what to do, do it. Don't know why I always think the right kit, right button is cancelled. It's probably because other games that I play it really is. That's it. It's a very odd key setup that. Okay, what well we got working? Just the lakes not working. Now, doesn't it look considerably better? Now we have the domes off. I think that is where we'll leave it for today. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Comments are always welcome. And remember to ring that bell and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.